The DU Seek, or SEQ, is an instant techno machine. A few elements that make it exceptionally complex include individual step repeats, slew, and gate manipulation settings. On top of that, gates can be routed into multiple inputs on the Seek to create deeper, more experimental, and probability-based patterns. The DU Seek is an eight-step CV and gate sequencer with an unquantized two-octave range on each step. Each step can be set to one of six different gate types or actions. When these different modes are applied from step to step, otherwise simple sequences can become far more complex and versatile. I will route the CV and gate outputs to the no-coast, making sure to turn up the sustain amount on the contour or envelope section so we can hear longer and held notes. I'll set the stage count knob to a two-step sequence and play with some of the modes on one of the steps. We can quickly see the expected functionality of the no gate or single gate modes. In single gate mode, as I increase the step count number on the first step, we can hear the pattern extend to a longer sequence, only triggering the two notes with a rest after the lengthened step. Switching to multiple steps, the step count sends a gate for every additional step, instead of resting. In long gate mode, the module produces an open gate for the length of the step count setting. Make sure the envelope you're using has the sustain turned up to actually hear that held note. The external gates make the action even more interesting. I'll route a repeating sequence from the var gate to external gate 1. I'll set the var gate sequence to one step and assign that step to repeat at a faster rate than the clock. When the sequence advances to that step, no step will be played unless the variegate is sending gates in. Whatever sequence of gates is sent into the external gate input will be heard as long as that step is still active. Additionally, external gates 1 and 2 are normal. Any step assigned to external gate 2 will be triggered by the signal received at external gate 1 as long as no cable is patched to the external gate 2 input. Once we start applying these different gate modes around the sequence, things get pretty complex very quickly. Especially when the gate source has some probability involved, as with the var gate, unique patterns emerge from each cycle of the sequence. How are you creating complex sequences? Tell us about it in the comments. Thanks for watching and sharing. As always, please like, follow, and subscribe. And remember, batch smarter.